Has the Southern African Development Community, ESADC, made significant strides in addressing Menangagwa's Gukurahunde before his anticipated stepping down? That's the question we find ourselves grappling with today. To properly understand, we need to take a journey back in time, back to the early 80s when Nangagwa was Zimbabwe's security minister. During his tenure, the Gukurahunda massacres occurred, a series of atrocious human rights abuses that resulted in the deaths of an estimated 20,000 people. Fast forward to 2024 and the SADC, a regional body of 16 countries, has found itself tasked with addressing these atrocities. Their actions, or lack thereof, have been a source of contention and debate. In 2021, the SADC set up a special committee to investigate the Gukurahunda massacres. The committee was mandated to gather evidence and propose a way forward. However, progress has been slow, with the committee only releasing its first report in late 2023. The report highlighted the need for justice and reparations but stopped short of providing concrete recommendations. This has sparked criticism from human rights groups, who argue that, without solid action, the report serves as little more than a symbolic gesture. In the face of this criticism, the SADC has defended its approach. They argue that the process of justice is slow and that the committee needs time to conduct thorough investigations. But as Menangagwa's stepping down looms on the horizon, the question remains, will the SADC take decisive action before it's too late? In summary, the SADC has made some progress in addressing the Gukurahunde massacres. They've set up a committee and released a report, but critics argue that this is not enough. As Menangagwa's stepping down approaches, the pressure is on for the SADC to take more decisive action. In the end, the legacy of Menangagwa's Gukurahunde and the SADC's response to it will be a defining aspect of Southern African history. How this unfolds will not only shape Zimbabwe's future, but also set a precedent for how the region addresses historical injustices. Only time will tell if the SADC is up to the task.